from East Los Angeles, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, and former two-time welterweight champion of the world, the reigning, defending, junior middleweight champion of the world, El Nino de Oro, the golden boy, Oscar de la o Well, we're set to go. Oscar's decked out and in black with red, and in red with black is a Yuri Boy Campus. The difference is De La Hoya's landing his jab. Look at that three punch combination. Jab, jab, he catches it. The Yuri Boy's just missing, and Oscar loading up some nice combinations here in the first round. Now we're seeing the effect of reach and quickness for De La Hoya. And, uh, hook in there. Yes, yeah, they decided to trade. And that's a, a good opportunity for Yuri Boy. It's his one chance for the fight. And for Oscar De La Hoya, he likes the idea of trading because he gets into his power mode here. So whatever happens, he has to get into punching position first, but he takes the risk of opening himself up. He uses that head as a battering ram. Maybe that's what Vic was talking about. The left hand finally gets through. As you enter the hit zone with Oscar, you're going to get pounded just like this against a very, very tough fellow from south of the border. Look at the... Amount of combinations he's landing to the face of Yuri Boy. Yuri Boy finally pops one off the nose of uh, Oscar and it doesn't shake him at all. But see, when Oscar enters that zone, folks, uh, this is what Dave is talking about. When he comes into the, the hit zone, he's firing. Huh. Bob and Weave, and he must be firing when he comes in, but here the hand speed gets him. Yeah, and certainly huh. a lot of head blows. Some guys don't take as many head blows in, in you know, seven or eight rounds. We're only in the third round as many as he's taken. And these are flush pretty well. Looked. They like to give him as much leeway as possible, but he just walked in a solid right hand. There were two of them there, Dave. And look at uh, De La Hoya on the outside, the jab and the right hand. It's surgical. And then almost in a follow-up situation, that nasty uppercut comes in. And the toughness is clear of Yuri Boy and the accuracy and the punching power of Oscar. Oscar, all business when he's in there. Very personal little guy outside the ring, but this is all business for him. Because I don't know what the case is here, but it's been out a couple of times already. Oh, look at these shots, and I think it went flying again. What terrific combinations, and Vic has to call timeout again. Does Oscar countering him? Oscar is getting off more with the lead shots, and he's hitting him. I mean, really hard, Dave, with the right hand. Because he's too tall, Delahoya can just pick him off with his exquisite hand speed. I believe much stronger than what Yuri Boy is and, and much taller. Just a totally different fight. Oscar bangs him on the inside, then he takes the uppercut on the inside, but he didn't seem to be respecting the power of a guy that has championship boxing. Oscar De La Hoya style. He bounces the head back, digs downstairs, doing exactly what Floyd Mayweather told him to do. Body and head. Missed the right hand that time. Arena here. At Mandalay Bay, the difference in hand speed. Look at that. Right hand right over the top. Yuri Boy coming in and he doesn't show and he's paying the price for it now. Look at this combination. Oh man, De La Hoya really looks good here. Just too quick. And everything had the right good. idea. Yep. But he just couldn't pull the trigger fast enough. Fainted just a little bit that time with the left side, wanted to nail him with the right hand. He drops the left shoulder, comes in with the left hook. Oscar sort of taunting him now with movement, trying to catch him coming in. A slick move by Oscar. He feels the uh, rope in his back and he slides down and gets away. Boy Boy taps him up to the forehead and he avoids the right hand shot. Oscar sort of leaning towards him as the belt ends the fifth round. He nailed him with another shot. He leads off with a straight right hand to get this the sixth round. Boy Boy has about getting close to him. This, the left hook again, started it up to the right, digging downstairs, catches him with the right hand. Yuri Boy doesn't back off though, he's as tough as nails, keeps coming forward, trying to push Oscar in the corner. Watch how Oscar walks out of here. Crowd doesn't like it when the referee has to interrupt the action, but you got to keep it clean. Something a little strange here with Oscar right now. Yeah, he's letting Yuri Boy get in on him and do his best work of the fight so that he could turn and do this. Wow, look at this. 
Hit him a lot of shots. Really hard shots. Looping right hand. Left hook crashes to the side of the head of Yuri Boy. Then Oscar comes in and catches a few. Jab, jab. Stop. Time. Time is called. That mouthpiece come out again. It did. Yeah. This could be the point. One point. One point. One okay, point. now he takes Keep the point away, now. so De La Hoya oh, wins this what looks more impossible by the round. And that's to get lucky here against Oscar. Now you have to worry about the eyes swelling up because of the shots he's taking. So they have to shape a little bit. They're a little bit more tentative the way he threw it. Now he's throwing it, but you know something he's not really calming down on like those last two or three punches. One thing that makes him an elite fight. The boy is catching with shots again, Dave. Minute gone. Oscar fights him in, goes with the right hand lead, comes back. Oh, he, he placed it that time right on the chin. And he's taking a lot of shots, and Yuri Boy has the mouthpiece out again for which he lost the point last round for. Left hand on top of the eye. Left hand. Look at this combination. Wow. It's all the anticipation before the punching that That's makes it, it possible for Oscar, and now it's over. Well, the corner did come up on the apron, and the uh, judge. Uh, uh, standing at ringside said that's it. Well, Shane Mosley happy because he knows he's got a big payday coming up. Yeah, <laughs> you mentioned it. Well, you know, that was a clinic, Dave, is all you can say about it. Uh, Oscar, Oscar is, is, is shaking his head about something that probably. Seeing that the challenger's corner was stepping up to call a halt to the fight on their own, stopped this contest at 2 minutes and 54 seconds of round number 7. The winner and still the unified WBA WBC junior middleweight champion of the world, El Nino de Oro, the golden boy, Oscar de la Hoya. We talked extensively during the fight about the fact that you weren't using your left hand with any real power, it seemed, and now I see you wincing as they take off your gloves. What happened? When did it happen? Well, I never win, so you know that. <laughs> but, uh, well, this guy has a hard head. The first shot that I threw, I mean, I threw it solid and it, it landed with uh, my closed fist, but he's got a hard head. So what does that mean? Did it, you think it strained your wrist or a tendon in your hand? You, do you think it's broken? I don't think it's broken because I can move it, but um, there's a sharp pain, but this happens all the time to fighters. I think uh, going to see Dr. Daly and taking some rest, recuperating the hand, just throw more right hands the way I was doing tonight. So you don't think that what ha whatever happened to the hand would endanger a fight in September? Oh, no. That's a fight I want. That's a fight where I will be at my best, and I will, believe me, Shane, I will get you. Were you at your best tonight? What, on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 to 10, um... Probably like a seven, maybe, because see what happens is when you fight guys who are slower than you, you sometimes tend to slow down to their level. That happens a lot of times, but I'm not using no excuse. The only excuse I have is, is my left hand that bothered me just a bit, so I couldn't throw it that much. So was this just a nice public workout that made a few dollars oh, for no. you? This was a real fight. I mean, this guy, this guy's a game fighter. I mean, this guy's a veteran. He can take a punch. My goal was to knock him out, but I kept on hitting him with right hands. I threw uppercuts and to the body. He just wouldn't go down. He was in good shape. What does it mean to you that in a fight like this, in which the media has all, has all gone along and said, yes, this is a tune-up or a mismatch, you still drew such a large crowd? Uh, that, thanks to all my, uh, my team. Thanks to my skill. I think I deserve some kind of credit <laughs> because uh, talent does have to do with uh, a lot. And um, to my team, my promoter, my trainer, my brother, everybody, my buddies, Rob, everybody, they all make it happen, and um, it's not just me up in the ring, but the whole, the whole setup, everything, you guys, everybody, just makes it happen. So that, aside from a workout, aside from this is your profession, you like to be on the stage. You don't want to be off the stage too much. I love it. I mean, this is what I do best, and, uh, but watch out, because Golden Boy Promotions is coming too. <laughs>